Okay, today we're going to talk about nucleophiles and electrophiles um, and reaction mechanisms in organic chemistry. <clears throat> now, nucleophiles and electrophiles are really synonymous with the idea of Lewis acids and bases. And in intro chemistry, you were introduced to Lewis acids and bases. Remember, a Lewis acid is an electron acceptor, and a Lewis base is an electron donor. Now, we're going to use more often in organic chemistry the idea of nucleophiles and electrophiles. And these words are just like what they sound. Something that is a file means it likes that. Like a heliophile is a type of plant that likes helio. It likes the sun, and it follows the sun across the sky during the course of a day. So a nucleophile is a molecule or a part of a molecule that likes positive charge. It's a nucleophile. And if something likes a positive charge, that means it's probably got some negative charge to it. So good nucleophiles have lone pairs of electrons, and they'll often have negative charges associated with them. During a course of a reaction, a nucleophile will react with a positive charge or a partial positive charge, and as it reacts, it usually donates a lone pair of electrons to that positive charge. And as it donates those electrons, we think of it as a Lewis base, an electron donor. Um, the opposite of a nucleophile is an electrophile, a molecule that likes negative charge. So these molecules usually have a positive charge or a partial positive charge. And as a molecule with those uh, electron deficiencies, they like to accept electrons. And remember, electron acceptors are Lewis acids. So what we're going to do now is, now that we have these definitions uh, laid out, we're going to look at a couple of reactions and try to identify nucleophiles, electrophiles, and, and see how we do with that. So let's look at a reaction mechanism here. This is um, a reaction between um, OCH3 minus this methoxide ion and a phenol, an alcohol group on an arene ring, and we've been shown the mechanism here. We've got arrows drawn, and really those arrows define what a nucleophile, an, electro, an electrophile is in a reaction. So we're going to define nucleophiles. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of... Um, how am I going to be able to write on this? Can I write on this? Let's try to write. Yeah. Nucleophiles have a lone pair. We're going to describe them in blue. And electrophiles, that's supposed to be an E, we'll do in red. Okay? So here, if we look at the mechanism of this reaction and the arrows, uh, one thing we can notice immediately on this methoxide is that there's a lone pair there. And the arrow is showing that that lone pair is being donated to form a new bond between this oxygen and the hydrogen. So this is um, a negatively charged molecule that has a lone pair. It's donating those electrons, so it's acting as a Lewis base. And so we would argue pretty strongly that that is a nucleophile, right? It's negatively charged, it likes positive charges, it's acting as a Lewis base, it is a nucleophile. Now, whenever there's a nucleophile, usually there's an electrophile. Who's accepting those electrons? Well, we're going to outline those in red, and really this is a little harder to define, but initially with this first era, you'd say, well, this hydrogen is an um, electrophile. It's accepting the electrons from the oxygen, acting as a Lewis base. And so this is our initial electrophile here. Okay. Now, eventually, with the second arrow, those electrons end up on the oxygen. And that, since that oxygen is accepting those electrons, we could think of either this whole molecule as being the electrophile in this reaction, or in particular, we could say the hydrogen and the oxygen are accepting those electrons. Okay. Now, the second part of this reaction, we again see a lone pair in a negatively charged molecule. This is a great nucleophile, 
right? It is going to donate those electrons. Nucleophiles are at the start of arrows because the start of arrows are where the electrons are coming from. They're coming from this nucleophile. Okay. Where are those electrons going? Well, they're being accepted by this carbon here and eventually end up on the bromine. So this whole molecule is nucleophilic, or sorry, electrophilic. This phenoxide anion is nucleophilic. And so we can define nucleophiles and electrophiles just by looking at the different arrows, noticing charges, noticing lone pairs. Remember, nucleophiles have the lone pair. They're at the start of the arrows. They're acting as a Lewis base because they're donating those electrons. Okay? Now let's look at another reaction here. Okay, this is Friedel Kraft um, halogenation reaction. We're chlorinating this arene ring, okay, and we're using AlCl3 as a catalyst. Okay, so we've been shown the mechanism here. We've got some arrows running around. Um, and let's start here with this initial arrows up at the top. Well, we can see immediately we've got this chlorine, and there's an arrow going from one of the lone pairs to the aluminum here. Okay, this is a good example of an electrophile, right? Those lone pairs are being donated. It's acting as a Lewis base. Who's accepting them? Well, the electron deficient nucleophilic aluminum is. Okay, it's accepting those electrons. This is a good example where aluminum uh, trichloride here is acting as a Lewis acid. Right, it's accepting electrons, but it's not acting as a Bronsted acid because there's no exchange of protons here. It's not accepting a proton. So this is a Lewis acid, but not I mean, yeah, Lewis acid, but not a Bronsted acid. Okay. So here's our exchange of electrons um, at the beginning of this reaction. Here's some more arrows down here. Uh, now, here's an arrow showing electrons going from the arene ring to the chlorine. In this case, the chlorine is positively charged. It's accepting the electrons. So what do you think it is? Electrophile or nucleophile? Well, it's accepting electrons. It's positively charged. It's a good electrophile. What's the nucleophile in this case? Well, the arene ring in general, but you know, we can think of the electrons, extra electron density in there as being the nucleophile. Okay, here's another set of arrows. What's happening? Well, we've got a negative charge in this reactant here. That suggests it's probably nucleophilic. And in this case, we don't have a lone pair, but we've got the bonded pair that's being donated to that hydrogen to form a new bond with hydrogen. So we're donating electrons acting as a Lewis base. That's the characteristic of a nucleophile, right? Here's the positive charge that that nucleophile is attracted to, and it's accepting these electrons. And so the arene ring with the positive charge is acting as the electrophile in this case.